It's meteorologist Claire Fry with your first alert forecast. Good to see you this Monday evening. Thanks for tuning in with us for looking at our first alert forecast. We've been watching isolated showers, some strong to even severe, making it through the area this afternoon. Slowly chances dying down into tonight as well as those temperatures, although still going to be mild and muggy sitting in the middle and upper 70s with winds out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now heading into your July 4th, once again, going to be another hot and steamy one. Air temperatures back in the lower 90s and dew points in the 60s and 70s paired with that high humidity going to make it feel like we are approaching 105. Fuel cooling, gusty showers and storms are possible into the afternoon and evening. Hour by hour forecasting today at 7 o'clock, middle upper 80s, cooling off the next several hours with winds out of the south, bringing in that warm air, waking up tomorrow morning to the lower 80s. But look at this temperatures rising back into the lower 90s air temperatures. That is triple digit heat index values making a return for your July 4th festivities nearing 104 in Wilmington. According to this model, 103 in Elizabethtown and in Whiteville. Make sure you limit your time outdoors and stay hydrated. It's going to be another hot one into tomorrow. 8 o'clock temps falling back into the lower 80s. Now in terms of what you can expect skies to look like into tonight, we've seen three severe thunderstorm mornings so far this afternoon and storm and shower chances are going to begin to die down the next several hours overnight into tomorrow. Clouds and sunshine to start off the day, but notice into the afternoon and evening starting to see a couple of pop up showers and storms, some of which could get strong to severe criteria like we saw earlier this afternoon. So you're going to want to make sure that you have your WECT weather app downloaded and ready to go heading into tomorrow. Composite radar and satellite loop through the last six hours where we've seen plenty of strong to severe storms make their way across the area in association with this line, but fizzling out and moving out of the area in the next couple of minutes. Taking you right outside from our West Shore home. First alert sky cam in Wrightsville Beach. Still lots of people out along the coast enjoying it while they can with temperatures in the lower 80s. We're about to take over to 622 with winds out of the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Dew points upper 70s, making it feel like we are in the middle 80s. Temperatures right now mainly in the 80s. And you can see for Keenansville and Jacksonville, some of those cooling showers have made quite the difference. 75 in Jacksonville, 77 in Keenansville. But we are cooling off the next several hours. And for those of you that have plans into Independence Day on tomorrow, you can see starting off back in the 80s, slim shower chances turning more scattered into the early afternoon hours. Daytime heating also playing a role in that lower 90s. Cooling off though a little bit toward dinner time, but still back in the 80s with an isolated shower or storm chance. Still, I'm going to reiterate this as much as possible to make sure you have your WECT weather app downloaded so you can take a peek at the radar before you do begin launching fireworks. Seven day forecast, isolated showers and storms possible. Starting to watch those temperatures fall back into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Temperatures sitting in the lower and middle 70s for lows with scattered showers also possible to wrap up the work week and head into the weekend. We'll be right back after this.